everybody, we're back once again with another Hair Adorable Hair Doodables BFF 2 pack. Today we have the exclusive Sally pack. I can't wait to get her open. She always seemed to be one that I, you know, I got my hands on a couple of them throughout the past, but she's had some really cool looks that I was never able to get my hands on. Now, yeah, there's the aftermarket, but there is something satisfying about finding them yourself and not getting doubles of all the Bellas. Okay, I, I just put salt in my wounds. I'll be quiet now. Let me just get this, uh, peel this paper off. Now I'm wondering if there's a possibility if some of these are harder to find than others. I think that's Rain right there, and Rain comes with a, a dude that has a really cool mohawk. So I'm going to be on the lookout for him. But in the meantime, uh, we have um, Sally over here, so I wonder who we're going to get for her friends here. So we're going to... Go ahead and do this. We're going to go for our surprises first and we'll open Sally up last. Open here. Oh, um, just so you know, that there's six dudes to collect and there's 13 surprises inside. Oh, and it looks like there's a different scene here. Um, the last series that I gave up on really early <laughs> was, seemed to have the same scene for all the boxes. This one has a cool one. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up. It's the beach. So um, we have this cool little floatable unicorn here. And we have a beach ball. And then we also have in the background here, you can see some really comfy chairs. Oh man, I want to go to the beach now. <laughs> so I wonder if this has anything to do with who's inside the box. So um, we're going to open up number one first, and number one has our stand. Oh, they're like transparent black for this one. Hmm. So it doesn't look like the stands are all one color this time. It's almost like the last series was kind of like an in-between for these two, um, for this series. But let's go ahead and open it up, this first bag. And our first bag has, it looks like, shoes for our boy. And they look like they could possibly be some black and blue water shoes, I'm thinking. And then here's a blaze that wants to get right in the way. Here is our signature card for Sally. So we have Sally... And is it going to focus for us? Let's see. Nickname, Stencil Sally. Hobbies, making stickers. And BFF is Greg. So we might get Greg in here. I don't know who what Greg looks like. We're not going to even check it out yet. We'll check out the checklist after we open up. Our boy here. Oh, we have roller skates in there. You guys see those? Roller blades, actually. And here's our other stand. Uh, I don't know where the other piece to it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then here's our next bag here. The uh, material of these bags is very thin compared to before. Yeah, I believe that uh, Kelly may have gotten glasses like this from... Season 2 or 1, I'm not really sure, but these ones are definitely different than the glasses that we've seen in the past. And here's our next one. This is going to be surprise number 3. And surprise number 3 gives us stickers I see popping out here. We have a sticker. Oh, there's Snack Attack Max. We've already opened him up in this channel. That's a cute sticker of him. And, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a hair extension. Uh... For Sally, I guess. It's black. And... Dark blue with, like, reddish pink in it. So that's pretty cool. Is that the only piece we got in there? Okay. Sorry, Blaze did a little bit of a drive-by. She's looking for the little yogurt cups that came in these. She loved those. Those are her favorite toys. But uh, they stopped doing that. I guess maybe they tried to cut down on some of the waste. But here is uh, our surprise number four. 
I actually adore the uh, tear strips on these bags, though you don't have to have scissors. Oh, what is all this fun stuff? So everybody's getting glasses, I think. So here's another pair of glasses. Ooh, look at these guys. These glasses are have all different like um, colors of tan. We have light, we have light tan, medium tan, and like a brown color. I don't know if they're supposed to look like they're wood, but those are pretty cool. And then we also have, I don't know what this is. Is this like a painting palette, maybe? We'll have to figure that out. And then, oh, and then we have a, um, a beret here that clips on like a hair piece. We're going to have a lot of fun decorating her. I thought she was a lot plainer than our last girl, but that's why she was, because she's got a lot of accessories. So here we go. It says, totally rad dude inside. Let's see who Sally's friend is. I haven't seen Sally opened up by anybody yet. Oh, it's really hard. Really hard coming off here. He doesn't want to come out. Oh my goodness, it's the rainbow colored one that I saw on the picture. And he's got a widow's peak, and oh my goodness. Alright, let's see if he's going to fall right out. Probably. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> wow, he has two different color eyes. I, wow. So he's wearing some cool contacts. Um, his outfit is kind of, uh, kind of flat. Kind of falls flat, but, um, so he's wearing... It looks like a two piece, but it's a one piece shirt. So that is, it's a one, it's a layer, it's layers, but in one piece. And it's really thin fabric. So I'm not really, I'm not really enthused with his shirt, but I get the concept. So I think it's supposed to look like a jean jacket with a burgundy uh, sweater. And then underneath that is supposed to be like a button up white shirt. And then he has, like, a pair of slacks on that are actually done in a soft cotton instead of, like, a polyester. You can see the stripes that go down. So, um, yeah. And he's a dark, got a darker complexion that kind of matches her, Sally's complexion. He's neat. Greg, you're neat. Oh, he's got flocked hair as well. So, it's, and it's got a lot of products in it. So, we have, we have black on this side. We got black yellow oh they're all primary colors <coughs> yellow red blue and then black on that side <coughs> excuse me guys and then underneath it's all blue and it's flocked oh wow it's so cool so we sha it's shaved right there it's shaved all the way up to that that point and he has a light brown eye and a light blue eye that are looking to the right Blue eyebrows, uh, very subtly cover colored lips, which are perfect for a male. Um, yeah, let's get his accessories on and put him on his stand and see how he looks. I'm excited about him. So here he is, guys. Um, let me see his uh, little card here. It says his nickname is Graphic Greg. His hobby is graphic design, and his motto is one pixel at a time. And here's the back of it. So he's a graphic designer, I guess. So he is a little nerdy and a little artistic. So that's you know I I ooh I really like I really like him. I'm a little I'm a little bit a, a little skeptic on the shirt. I don't really like the fabric. I I don't like when they print buttons on and stuff like I don't know. It, it, but his overall look I really love. The hair is awesome. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get our girl out. Let's go get Sally out, and then we'll set them up together, and we'll, you know, take a look. Okay, guys, so same thing <laughs> with the last girl I opened up. Check out this big bald spot. Right prominent as I pull her off the back of the pump. That This really, this is not good. This is not good, just play. She looks great from the front. Not so great from the back. I think, though, I can uh, rearrange it so that it's not bald, but that is a reoccurring thing that we wouldn't think would happen from this company. 
So here is Sally um, on her stand. Again, I don't, I'm not a fan of the hair. I like her hairstyle and everything. She's got like a white, a goldish color with with the dark blue. That's a signature hair color for her. I don't like how thin it is, though. It's really thin. It's long and pretty and soft, but it's really thin for hair adorables, and it worries me a little bit. And it, I shouldn't get too worried because these dolls are exclusive, but they're th kind of throw-ins for these guys. These are the main, like, she's like a side dish, and he's like the main course. So um, more of the work is done on him, and then she's kind of like, ooh, you get her as a bonus. So, um... As with any dolls that come with play sets, sometimes they're made a little bit more, um, mm, there's a little more corn cuts or whatever. But, um, she's got a gorgeous face. I don't remember if she's got the same face mold as, um, the last girl. I think she does. Um, has the same face mold as Dee Delicious. Uh, she comes with this little beret on the top up here that we put on. It's a little clip. And it's pink with sparkles all over it. And it's got that little thing in there. And it's kind of cute. Uh, her hairstyle is kind of weird. It, it, it's almost a Mary Jane type style. But it goes to the side here. And then uh, over here she has another little tie that ties her hair that way. So I don't know. Um, she has blue eyebrows to match her blue hair. Light brown eyes that look up into the right and then she has pink lipstick and then if you look really really close you can see that she has uh, three primary color hearts no not primary colors because it's got, we have a pink heart and a blue heart and a and a yellow heart <laughs> you guys see that now <laughs> the pink hearts a little bit um oh no I think that they're supposed to have let's see here Yeah, it it they're they're hearts. <laughs> so uh, and I just knocked off her little palette. She has this cute little transparent green palette that she can hold. I'm not entirely sure how she's supposed to hold it. I am not an artist, but uh, <laughs> I'll have her hold it like that. Her shirt is different but similar in construction uh, to Greg's, where it has two layers, but they're actually one. It's they they don't this part doesn't come off, so um, it's a thinner fabric. It makes it kind of look like she's got a jean jacket on with some paint spots, maybe, on it. And then underneath it, she's got a yellow shirt. Probably supposed to be a jersey-type shirt, because she's got, the, like, striping down there. And then it's done in primary color, red, blue, and yellow. She also is wearing uh, spandex-type uh, leggings that are probably supposed to also represent jeans that have been painted tie-dye on them. She has these cute, strappy boots that are pink with blue straps over here and yellow straps over here so she is really cute let's go ahead and put her sunglasses on I do like that all the hair adorable sunglasses always fit snug to their face and you can display them with or without and they still look cute there are her, there are her sunglasses so she looks adorable so here they are together the BFFs they do look pretty good together I think um yeah, so my only squirm with this is the bald spot that was behind the head, which I've only opened two of these sets, and it's been the case with the other girl, too. So hopefully it's just my sets that are getting that way. And then also, if you look at it from a different perspective, they're flat down on the box. They don't have any air between uh, their hair and the box, so it just could be box hair. So um, maybe uh, once they get reformed and, and I brush them out a little bit, it'll be fine. So other than that, um, I really, really do like these sets. I'm probably planning on getting more because I am a huge Her Adorable fan. Um, if you like this video, go ahead, uh, give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.